2013. It's already starting off with what I'm already feeling. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. <laughs> yes, 2021. In America, has started off with a bang. Literal. With a bang. Un unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but it's 2021. It's we'll see what's going to bring us. I'm excited. I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm not not excited. Mm. I'll say that. I. I'm interested. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested. I'm for always going to happen next. I'm always excited for a new year to see what's going to happen. Always. Yeah. I mean, to me, it's all. The next day is the next day. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't know. But happy new year to everyone out there. I hope your new year's wherever you are, because I know we have people watching from everywhere. Yep. Um, are wonderful. And here's to something different this year, I hope. So today, per many requests, uh, many, many. many, many, there is no, unless I couldn't find it, but I didn't see it. Uh, no explanation video for this music video and song, but I think that's because the lyrics are pretty straightforward, which mm -hmm. I told Yolanda. So we're gonna watch BTS No or No. I'm not sure how you're how you're supposed to say the title. We're gonna watch the music video and listen to the song, and then we are gonna watch some other BTS content and maybe relate some of it to some of the dramas we've been watching. Once again, related to schools. Yeah. It's just an area we care about because it's an area we know really well. And yeah. BTS is, has an entire era dedicated to it. So that also wonderful. also helps. Um, yep. And so without further ado, uh, thank you to the account that subbed this video because Big Hit did not have the subbed version. So thank you, Love K-Pop Subs 13, for this video with subs so that we can see the very important lyrics. Thank and you. And we are going, anything you want to say before we... Yeah. Jump right in. Thank you to everyone who literally has subscribed. We're almost at 1,700, which is big for us because we it's just started. We people. just started. Um, also, to <laughs> everyone who's taking the time to comment and just give your perspective on things, um, especially if you're coming from a different um, country that allows us to kind of see what's going on in other countries. Um, and also to those who are like just loyally just watching each and every video we post thank you so much thank you so much uh sounds good yeah all right big hits think you got for us 2013. it's already starting off with what i'm already feeling <laughs> <laughs> nothing like, you haven't yet no I, I know it's just the scenery like just Sitting in this yeah. robot stance, which like is something that bothers me. It to bothers no to no end. end. Like, how many times do we say like I don't know how many times we've said kids right. are not robots. They're not. They're, they are humans. They're humans <laughs> with their own personalities, with their own experiences. So please let's stop trying to make everything you know fit in this one box, and everyone has to learn this way. Everyone has to act. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know where yeah. you were going to go with that. As soon as I no, saw yeah, that, yeah, I was right, just yeah, like, yeah. yes! All right. And... <laughs> it's real Hunger Games-ish. Yeah. Look at little Jimmy. Baby BTS. Yes, I didn't mention that this is definitely Baby BTS. Baby it's BTS. 2013. I should have should have clicked. It's all the way, Baby BTS. Should have should have clicked. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right. I'm 
So it just, and I know that we're probably going to like talk about this, but it just reminds me, um, we're watching a Chinese drama called Forever Love. And there's a situation where um, a guy is dating a girl who's from a more wealthy background. And literally the mom is like complaining about how you're going to struggle and I don't want my daughter to struggle. You know, I want her to be happy. Don't you want her to be happy? And he's like, are you serious? Like, like we can struggle together. But like, who's to say like, she has to determine what's going to make her happy. And like, for the mom it's about you know making sure that she's comfortable and wealthy and it's just like i'm seeing this and yeah there's it seems to be like the a common parent theme in the show is that like somehow being wealthy will make will equal being happy but which is crazy is that in every show that we see <laughs> the wealthy parents are not, are not happy. happy and that's what's crazy to me is like you it's i mean and i know obviously shows are written that way but i think right. that's also like can be true in real, real life, life too. yeah like what makes happiness is not, has nothing to do usually with how much money you have right yes are there levels of comfort in lifestyle right probably but and, like and it's know. not saying that being poor or you know not having that type of income um doesn't you know it makes you happy it, it doesn't you know because of the fact no. that you're constantly stressing you know to make sure that you pay bills and you're not you know uh lights not getting turned off you can feed your kids but again just because you have money does not mean that you're happy yeah. i love that don't be trapped in someone else's dream I wish students would do that for real. I was just thinking, we talked about this this week on our chat. We, on yeah, our yeah, teacher, yeah. we have a teacher friend chat. Yeah, just anarchy. I mean, we talked about when students purpose. when students protest, and it was so that was it's interesting when we were watching yeah. this today. You know, like protesting for a cause that is not just going to benefit you, but generations to come. Um, for things that people have been pushing for for a long time, that's great. Protesting for nonsense, stop. Um, <laughs> but it's it's just like I wish children and parents would say like we're we're done with this, we're over this, like. We want to make sure that children are learning things that they can apply when they go out into this world, not things that's going to make the school look good, that makes teachers look good, that makes parents look good. Yeah. <sighs> well, I, I was talking about the other conversation we had about, you remember, uh, uh, Benica, when like, we were both saying how we both, a friend of ours and myself have been in schools when kids have like led protests, protests like yeah. student-led protests. Let children protest. That's fine. Let children protest. Because you know what happens when you don't let children protest? They actually start trying to fight adults and stuff. It's yeah. not cool. I've let, seen it. Let them protest. It's fine. Let them yeah. have their say. Like, listen to what they have to say. Yeah. When they say that this is not helping us, this is not effective, listen to them because they're the ones that pretty much are in that boat. And we were students. We know what what could have gone and what we really needed. There are some things that I've learned in school that have been beneficial to me, like, even to this day. There are things that I've learned in school that I'm like... Not so much. I don't even remember, like, what was the purpose. A kid once asked me, I once had a student ask me, how does she ask? It was such a good question. She said, do you think we go to school to actually learn, like, what the, what you guys are teaching us? She goes, or do you think we just go to school to learn, like, skills of how to, like, be at a job or be, like, function in the world? And I was like, mm. hmm. Mm. She was like, because I feel like... Well, we're learning more of the second one. And I was like, it's interesting. But in America, that was the foundation of schools, basically to um, train people to be in the workforce, yeah. to be in a factory. Yeah. So no, it's, yeah. makes sense. But the child figured it out. It was a great, I was, I was like, yeah, good question. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 
I am. Baby. What is with Sugar's hair? Every time, every time I watch his hair, like, what did? Why did they make him have like? I don't know. I mean, it was just like the whole fade it's like, for they don't do that. <laughs> Like, what is it? Oh. Always <laughs> doing some kick, jump, spin. Oh, I don't, I don't know. And I think looking yeah. at what they're saying, this image that you have to put out there is what is like you're constantly right. trying to make sure that you keep well, up that image. And like, what's interesting is RM said this back then. He mm -hmm. said in like the op the opening. What did he just say that I was like? He still says that now. And he, that I mean they've obviously made all the money. Right. And the whole they have all the money. <laughs> they have all the things that they right. want. But, like, he still... I just read an interview, I feel like, I don't know when it was recently, that he said, like, how like how much more money do I need? Like, be, oh, I know what he was talking about. He was talking about COVID. And he right. was talking about how, like, yes, there's been revenue drops in, mm -hmm. in every field. Like, in, and obviously right. with them not being able to tour, them not being able to go on shows, they're not making as much money as they could. Right. Right? But he was kind of like... How much more money do we like? Could we could we really need? Like, right. We, they, it's not like they need money. So and right. it's like I'm. I just one of the reasons that fans love them so much and I love them so much is like they're so humble to like who they are. Like mm -hmm. he said this in 2013, and now he's still same, saying same. today. Like even after he's made all this money, he's right. like he's like that's not why I'm doing it. Still, like that's still Pretty not why so. I'm why I'm living. Right. But like I saw somewhere where someone talked about that. You know, when you make money. Um, you still like you, you keep chasing after making more mm -hmm. money and so it's like whatever that you're chasing for um, once you achieve it like you don't stop you know you, you continue right. going so you just kind of get as they could say get greedier um, in regards to yeah, that and, and, and not everyone I'm just saying right that, that and because I, I think there's also a side of that that can be really positive mm -hmm. so like one of the things I feel like I've learned from BTS is like one thing they say often when they win more awards, when they get more recognition, mm -hmm. is they're always like, we're going to make better content then. Like, right. their drive Push is yourself, not related right. to the money part. It's related to the fact that, like, right. we've reached this. That means we have to work harder. That means we have to create right. better, right? Like, and there, there's a level of that pressure that I don't think is necessarily bad. Right. Like, I, I think that's one thing I've learned is, like, there's no, like, so when you hit a, a goal... Be happy you hit that goal and then think, like, how can I do this even better than I was doing it? How can I make myself even better than I was? Go was? Goals are fine. Um, yeah. But when you are uh, trying to make sure that you continue to obtain more and more, it's like the, 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 the consumption. Yeah, it's not about, yeah, yeah, like, that's what I mean. They're not about what they have. They're right. about almost like the, more about the impact they right. have, right? Like, okay, we've made this impact. How can we do that even stronger? Like, how can we? Right. How can we be better as right. people? Not like, how can we have more stuff? Right? right. Or how can we have more fans? How can we? That's not what they're worried about. And that's know? what I'm seeing. Like what I'm seeing in a lot of the shows that we're seeing. It's yeah. more so. It's not about setting goals for children, so you know your children can be successful. So they all know how to in navigate life. It's more so about. I want you to continue to fulfill my dreams or fulfill this goal so that I, as a parent, can, you know, brag about it. So Yeah, like um, in school 2017, which I'm oh watching because yes. I'm almost done with it. 
uh, the one character, the one student whose mom is like... You need to beat him out. Need- she basically like wants him to be number one, one. so the dad leaves her alone. Right. Like, like, Which is crazy. She's, she's like literally pushing her son to absolute misery because she yeah. wants... She doesn't really care if he's number one. She right. cares that like she gets left alone by the dad. Like, and it, it, it's really like makes me sick. I was like, this right. is so. And it's the same thing in True Beauty with uh, one of the characters where she's been coming in number two. Ooh, yeah, yeah, and she she's and, starting to get salty. You're yeah. right. Yeah, and, and it's not even that. It's just like the the pressure. Like, why isn't number two good enough? <laughs> I mean, like, out of the whole school, I'm number two. Why is that a problem? Yeah, like, why is that not enough? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Especially if you're trying your hardest. Yeah. BTS, I wonder do they go back and watch their old videos. They do. There's actually, like, footage of them reacting to their old videos. <laughs> I know they're tickle pink. It's... I recently, got seven put out a... a episode of, like, a... You know, like, they... You know how the groups do, like, right. behind-the-scenes content. And they were, re- GOT7 was reenacting one of their old ones. Because GOT7 came out the year after BTS. But okay. they're about the same age and stuff. And uh, it was so funny. They were like, why did we say we would do that? <laughs> like, I mean, when you first come can out. Can you imagine RM right now? Like this RM in yes. 2021 Looking being like, like mm, you're going to do what with my hair? No, mm, no. That fade that, was Those classic. wings. Like what was, why did That's he have everything. the whole set on? I know. It just... <laughs> The things, when you go back and look at some of your dated photos, oh. Nope. Oh, we were lovely. We did some. I was horrible. Mm, I'm not even. I had, nope. I still think I was fly. My eyes just glossed over because I was thinking about (laughs) how bad it was.